An inspirational leader to millions of people around the world is in Minneapolis this week. His message is one of peaceful living for all of humanity. Fox 9 medical expert Dr. Arkel Giorgio is live in downtown Minneapolis with more on his art of living. Good morning, Dr. Giorgio. Good morning, Tom and Alex. And before we start, I'd like for everyone to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. As you join me in this interview with His Holiness Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, who is a spiritual leader from India and also the founder of the Art of Living Foundation that has taught people how to breathe in 150 countries worldwide and has also taken these breathing techniques to areas of tragedy like Hurricane Katrina, 9-11, Southeast Asia after the tsunami in an effort to decrease violence and stress. He's on a tour of the U.S. and Canada and agreed to meet with us this morning. Sri Sri, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Let's start with the breathing techniques that you teach worldwide. You call it Sudarshan Kriya. Can you explain to us briefly what that means, what it is? You know, every emotion has got a particular rhythm connected with the breath. So it's harnessing breath, emotions, and sensations in the body. So what happens when you do the Sudarshan Kriya, uh, harmony wells up from within you. And all the negative emotions, they get transformed into positive ones. And I was reading some very interesting studies that demonstrate that this breathing technique has actually helped people with insomnia and depression, post-traumatic stress disorder. How do you explain, how do you go from breathing to affecting sometimes very severe mental illness. How do you describe that? Uh, you know, uh, in the mind-body complex, breath is the link between body and mind and breath and emotions. So the breath links our emotions, our sensations in the body, and the well-being, general well-being. Your teachings are based on Hindu traditions, but yet you emphasize that this is not a religious practice. Um, but we live in a religious country here in the United States. So do these breathing practices complement um, a traditional religious practice or do they conflict with? How do you, you know, talk about uh, that? I have kept this so secular that, so that people of any uh, faith tradition can adopt that for their benefits. Though its roots are in yoga and meditation is part of the Hindu tradition from ages. But yoga helps everybody, whether you are a Christian or Muslim or Buddhist. It doesn't matter, you know. So these uh, techniques are rooted in the Hindu tradition, no doubt, but it does not conflict with anyone's religious beliefs at all. And yesterday, when I saw you at the university, you were really trying to distinguish between spirituality and religion. That's something I think about all of the time. Could you explain how you see the difference? You know, every religion has got three aspects. One is the values, symbols, and practices. There is the common universal values of love, compassion, sense of belongingness, brotherhood. I feel this is what spirituality is all about. Spirituality is uplifting one's spirit, bringing that inner peace, tranquility, happiness, and motivating one to do service to society. And um, in what you teach, you really ask people to go inside and really discover themselves and that inner peace. And yet, there's people in this lobby, there's people worldwide, millions of people who follow you. So is there a conflict between all the people that follow you and yet your teachings to really look inside? No, in fact, not, because uh, everyone wants to go deep inside. This is a natural yearning for everyone. No? But then these techniques that we teach uh, help them to go deep with them. Right. And, and, one and quick like inspire people to do service, engage them into service. And when you want to do some service, say suppose we are uh, a group of volunteers going to Haiti, uh, working there, or in, like in Katrina, or now in China when there is earthquake. You need a team to go and work in team. You know, Individuals cannot do such a big service project Great. as a team would do. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Have uh, a very safe trip as you travel, continue to travel across the United States. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Back to you, Tom and Alex.